Jesus corrects the Pharisees and the scholars because they miss the point and because they keep up heavy burdens hard to carry and do not help them. <clears throat> Saint Paul corresponds for us the fruits of the flesh, all right, uh, or the works of the flesh, uh, and the fruits of the spirit. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, rivalries, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissension, fractions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. Does that sound like the type of life we would want? With, I mean, it sounds like a war. It sounds terrible. Who would want that? And in contrast, the fruits of the Spirit Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. These are what we seek. This is what we want. We want joy and peace in our life and in our world. And so we are called to live the life of the Spirit. Now Jesus when he speaks to the scholars of the law, he says that you impose these heavy burdens, hard to carry, but you don't lift a finger to touch them. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are ending St. Paul's letter to the Galatians in chapter five, but it does continue. And in chapter six, St. Paul encourages the Galatians to help those who are weak to carry their burden for them. And then he flips it around and he says, let everyone carry their own burden. And I scratched my head and I said, wait a minute. How can you say help other people with their burden and then tell people to carry their own burden? And it lines up perfectly with these fruits of the spirit. Yes, we should all do our best. We should be carrying our burden. But we should think not just of ourselves, but of other people. And so someone cannot say, oh, I'm not going to carry my burden because I know everybody else is going to carry it. That's the work of the, that's the work of the flesh. That's not going to give us love and peace and joy. But when we are in a loving, devoted relationship with Jesus, when we love God and our neighbor, then we will help other people to carry their burden without dropping our own, without you know, losing our responsibility. And so again, sometimes people say, oh, well, you know, Jesus, you know, asked less of his disciples. He really didn't. Jesus asks more of us Jesus asks us to go further because we are not slaves. We are not forced. We are invited to return his love back. We are invited to live as Christ in the world. <clears throat>